I just kind of went into shock. It was the biggest shock of my life to hear the word carcinoma and to find out that the treatment was a mastectomy or a partial mastectomy plus seven weeks of daily radiation. And here's how she wrote out on the back of my pathology report. Partial mastectomy plus radiation, seven weeks is what she was telling me, would give me a 10% reduction at 10 years. I, I was numb and I was almost paralyzed and I really don't think I heard anything further other than that. Imagine a needle, a wire being stuck through your sensitive tissue in your breast, smashing it down, compressing it tightly, and then having it maneuvered around several times to get it right, and then going in with a knife and taking an area around there. I mean, it's just, it's just, yeah, it just felt like I was really in a, in a wreck. Uh, when I took the bandages off after the surgery, I was shocked at what my breast looked like. It was black and blue and purple, and um, it just looked horrendous. For a small little wide excision surgery, I just thought, wow, some real damage has been done here. It just felt like if I didn't have cancer, I might now create something, some harm. My perception is that the benefits have been systematically exaggerated and the harms have been minimized, or worse, not disclosed. I just thought, I can't believe this is what women are going through and it may not ever be a, a, an invasive cancer. It may not ever cause any harm in a woman's lifetime. And so I started to do some, some research and I was finding some experts out there talking about this controversy of over-treatment. By stage zero, the goal of treatment is to prevent an invasive cancer. Imaging doesn't prevent it. Cutting it out and radiating it doesn't prevent it. It can actually, you know, um, it's, a, it's a form of treatment, but it's not really a form of preventing from if there's some kind of an inflammation or something in your body that's th that root cause of what is developing this, well, what could that be? And so nobody's really talking about that. And so I really wanted to explore that and I did a lot of my own study and got into food as medicine. I like to cut carrots this way. I kind of took the holistic path and really kind of put a lot into my diet and exercise. I was already very healthy and doing yoga, but I just got even more focused and more into the whole nutrition and food as medicine. Cheers. So this now 15 months later, all these alarms going off and I'm getting all this pressure. Like I was, you know, the bad girl that did um, refused treatment and didn't listen to the doctors. And now here I am, I probably have invasive breast cancer. I get the phone call saying, good news, Donna, no invasive cancer. Bad news again, we have two positive margins, just like before. To be faced with this decision to, you know, do I go back and get that margin or just leave it alone again and then have to worry about it? So I did decide to have this, which would be a third surgery now, third, actually fourth surgical procedure in this whole two year roller coaster. You know, having never really been through a medical problem before, it was, um, it was just very overwhelming. When I went in to see the doctor, she said, you know, I don't know if we can salvage your breast. You know, really, you probably need a mastectomy. Again, you know, after, and I had several opinions at that point, mastectomy kept coming up. And I kept thinking, I don't even have invasive cancer. This is absurd. This is absolutely ridiculous. I cannot imagine having radiation for what I have and with all the research that I was doing, saying there's no survival benefit at all to doing radiation. All the harms of any of these procedures or treatments were downplayed. And that's when I said, you know, I'm never going to go back to them. Like, I'm done. And what are we doing to women? And why are women so you know, quick to, to remove their breast? 
it's just it's a, it's a very um, it's a sickening feeling too to to know and that's when I started my website I just thought I've got to find other people out there who are feeling just like me the first thing I, I want to say to any woman that gets this diagnosis of DCIS is that it's not an emergency there's no rush you have time even though I understand the feeling of oh my gosh, the knee-jerk reaction, get it out, is gonna, you know, when am I gonna die? It's just our, our nature with our kind of lack of understanding of cancer, that it's just all lumped together, that it is a death sentence. So that right there just kind of, just calm those fears down. If we are going to make changes for the better, it has to be working together. You're getting a lot of different messages from different people, um, different opinions. You go to 10 doctors, you'll get 10 different opinions. And then you start going to the integrative naturopathic doctors and you get a whole opposite opinion. That these two camps aren't even talking to each other. And that's a big problem too. Women take back your power and protect your body from being poked at and invaded in ways that maybe isn't necessary.